Yo, 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 I'm recording again. I can't believe it. I'm recording again. Me, Jeremy, I'm recording again. Okay, so Soul Surge has another video for you. And this video is mainly going to be chest. And we might include legs tomorrow. I'll, I don't know. I'll see. And, uh, whoa. oh, yeah. So what is my program? What is my plan for the current outcome of what we're going to do? So what I'm thinking currently is pretty much just benching a shit ton and I'm going to do four days a week on the train and then one day off, four days, one day off, four days, one day off. And I will experiment more with higher volume and just overall higher frequency training because I've been doing like the hit method, the Mike Mentor method, which is pretty much to just train very, 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 very once in a while. Like Mike Mentor's was every two weeks or a week and a half. Personally, I don't like that. And I would do four days a week, but I want to experiment like with less rest days and more volume. And since I'm eating more and I'm going to sleep more, you know, we're going to include a variety of things. My question is, what cologne are we wearing? I'm thinking of this fresh, but it goes away like this. But literally, no one gives a fuck how you wear it, what you... No one gives a fuck on how you fucking smell at the gym. So I'm just considering wearing my free hands that my grandpa gave me it's pretty cool look at this cool ass robot bro it's so sick <sighs> bro i almost had a <laughs> i almost had a stroke Ooh, i forgot to mention before we hit legs we're actually gonna hit a fucking car pr we're gonna get a new car i'm like a pretty spoiled kid so i am getting a new car for uni and it's sick. It's you guys are gonna fucking love it. But you're gonna have to wait all of my chest day, and you're gonna have to unless you want to skip. But you're gonna have to literally wait my entire chest day, more yapping and more clips and all this shit until you you get to the car. So stay tuned for the car. It is coming soon, and you'll see what car it is. But oh my god, I I'm, I fell in love with the car when I saw it. For the budget that I had, it's magnificent. Bro, not like for real. Look at this robot. It looks so cool. Oh shit, look at these veins too. But yeah, look look at this robot. Like who who was the dude behind this design? Oh. Oh, you guys see there's not much liquid left. Whoever was the main person behind this design is incredibly, incredibly cool. I like this guy. I like Boko Rabanne. Also, I'm kinda bored, so I'm just showing you guys like my stuff. Look at this like broken hook. One of my friends actually dropped this shit and uh this part of the sword is gone. It's every, everything is here, right? All the pieces are here. And like, we're supposed to restore them. Look, the broken shield, and it's right here as well. And we're supposed, look, this is me and a dolphin. I, I love dolphins, bro. This was me when I was like 12. And I've only seen dolphins once in my life. Bro, look at this car too. Like, I'm just gonna show you guys my room. But yeah, look, look at this cool ass car. Look at this, oh, bro, look how it opens the door. Imagine having like you here. And like the girl of your dreams right here or bro and you guys are like blasting your way to the gym putting hard style on but that sounds fucking sick you know i can remember these things bro like i don't know if you're from my generation then you'll remember like how cool these things are like you give it a spin right you like charge the battery pretty much and then you just let it go bro look at that it's like my inner kid providing itself again. Oh. Oh shit, am I bugging it? I think I bugged it. Oh. <laughs> oh I'm so tired. I have finals next week and I gotta study really, really, really hard. And uh, honestly, they technically don't matter because I'm a senior and seniorities and all this shit, but I really do have to study. So, I um, I will study, but I won't study as hard as last year's because honestly, my GP doesn't matter because I already got into uni and you know all the deal, you know, when you get into uni, then they don't really look at your GPA currently, but rather your GPA throughout high school. So, if you're still in high school, I do suggest you fucking try hard the living shit out of it if you want to get into a good school. If you want to get into like your local school, we like start planning ahead, but and you don't have to right now, but like seriously for your mental health in high school and overall 
consider like what do you really want in your future do you want to get into an ivy league or do you want to get more into like a regular school and then get into like you know a regular career path and maybe try hard uni and then get into a good masters it all depends on what you want guys this is not looking too well i took a nap and i'm tired very tired hopefully if i pop a lot a lot of water right now then i'll be getting energized because like water flows into my because water flows into my wa water no water throw uh, do some shit sometimes even when you don't want to and this is one of those moments because i know when i finish the gym i'm going to be feeling way better i'm going to be hungry so i can eat again meaning in bulk and on top of all of this i'm going to feel more motivated to write this life view paper that i have which is 10 pages 10 bro 10 pages about myself i gotta write 10 pages of that shit I don't know how much that shit is in Ariel 12. Oh hell no, nah, man. Change of plans. Yeah. I got a stringer underneath. And there is a change of plans. And my change of plans is that I'm gonna go to the gym, dark and mysterious, and just have a very, very high aura. Mm, you know, going to the gym with a hoodie gives you extra aura points, but if you start being friendly and talking with people, you are goes down.
Yo, low key. I just finished training chest, and God, I feel so 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 much better. It's just your mood, because the thing is, when you work out, you release so many fucking dopamine and endorphins. Your mood just becomes so much better, and I feel way less tired. But the thing is, it's 10:30, and I'm not tired, so that's an issue. But I really do need to go to bed, so I'm gonna read and read and read and read until I fall asleep. That's pretty much it. But seriously. If you feel angry or sad or anything, if you feel like discomfort, just work out, bro. You're, you'll feel so much better, trust me. I came, I became addicted to working out. Seriously, work out, just go work out. Don't even think about it, don't doubt, oh, I'm too sad, I don't wanna work out. No, it's the opposite. I'm too sad, I should go work out so I feel better, you know what I mean? Hello again. Yeah, we just showered, again, <laughs> and um, let me put this shirt on. I look like a, like a fucking fat ass. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna be eating with our friends. We just finished school, and we're gonna go for a new car. And I'm excited, and I'm excited too because we're hitting legs. But the thing is, the reason why I'm excited for legs today specifically is because on this leg day, I'm gonna be seeing how many reps I can do with 315. Thing is, I didn't sleep very well, so I kinda of always use that as an excuse to like skip it, and I just train the next day, but fuck it, I can, I like, I'm really looking forward to just training legs today, just going all at it. So, we're gonna be doing that, and it's very, very hot, so let's just get ourselves changed, and go over there. Jean Pagatier, le mel à parfum, Jean Pagatier, ooh. Boom. Boom. I'm just playing extra because why the fuck not? So as we stated before, we got the car and uh, I'm excited. I'm going to take it to a drive and we're about to go hit licks. I like that. I'm kind of scared for it, but at the same time, I mean, how can you be scared when you got a new car? It's it's like it's like a dream come true, honestly. I, I got no words, honestly. It's, it's just such a new car. It's black. You know, and every, every man needs to have a black card. In, in his lifetime, any man has to have a black card. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain to keep washing it, but it's sexy as fuck. Round two. My dynamic for today's leg day is I'm gonna be starting off with a very top set, a very heavy set of 315, and I wanna see around how many reps I can get to see like where I'm at with the 315. Because my goal is to bet uh, squat 405 and maybe even more from there, but from there we have to start working our way up. So we're gonna warm up to 315 right now and then see just how much we can get off of that. Bum, bum.
Like these charts, like shit with your compounds. But once you're done with your, with, once you're done with your compounds and you relax your heart rate a little bit, you take a breather. It's not actually that difficult. If you really think about it, if you just do your compounds and you do your isolation. Your isolation is kind of the easy part, you know, because like you're not super accelerating your heart rate, but like you normally would be on a leg day. So you just do, do the hard part first. Once you're done with the hard part, you're gonna be happy you did like that. Yo, look at that dumpy, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm like a girl on Instagram now. Oh, look at that butt sweat, too. <laughs> okay, with this, we... With this, we officially end the fucking video. Because it's just two days already. And I want to upload more content for you guys. So, we're getting another very, very long video of mine. Of me just yapping and training and getting in the car. Uh, yeah, dude, I feel like such a quick bait fucking YouTuber right now. I'm actually really tired. I don't know why I'm so energized. Whoa. I'm sweaty, very sweaty. It's summer, and I brought my squat shirt for this reason specifically because I know it was gonna be a mess, and I don't want to mess up any other shirt for less like week and a half. But this is a pain in the ass to fucking clean, bro. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. Tell your friends. Who uploads content on YouTube? Who is the best YouTuber alive? Obviously, it's not me. It's someone else. I got a lot to improve. But who will be in the future, possibly, will be me, of course. Dude, the squat pump is crazy. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And actually, like, my hair's not that messy. Usually, I feel like a very sweaty workout. Jesus, it's like all messed up, all piled up. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, Peace out, bro.